Hi and welcome to Hi on Coding. I'm your host Mohamed Azam and in this particular screencast I will show you how you can use the Ajax Control Toolkit Auto Complete Extender Control. So I have the, already have this page and it doesn't really have anything apart from few uh, reference to the libraries. So I'm referring the Ajax Control Toolkit which I have added over here as you can see. Uh, I will urge you to download the latest version of Ajax Control Toolkit from the Microsoft website which is uh, asp.net slash Ajax download it and then add a reference over here. Um, also you can go to your toolbox right click choose items and select the assembly which is the Ajax Control Toolkit so that it will add all the controls in that assembly into your toolbox and then you can pretty much drag and drop and use it. So what we're trying to do over here is to create an auto-suggest-like functionality. If you have been to Google Suggest, it uh, uh, kind of like reflects that functionality that if you type some name, if you type some item uh, name, then it will kind of like suggest, help you out with those items. Okay. The first thing that you need to do is to uh, register the script manager control. Consider the script manager as the brains for the Microsoft uh, you know the Ajax framework. After you have registered this, what you need to do now is you need to create a uh, let's say customer name. So customer name, enter customer name, okay. And I can say over here a text box control. We are going to use a text box to capture the name. Oops. And the next thing I can do is I can add the autocomplete extender control. I can say the target control ID in this case is what is the control that I'm targeting, which is txt customer name. Uh, run at this service method. Now service method name that the which method will be invoked when you're actually typing in the text box. Okay, so the method that will be invoked is get customers. Then we have also service path. I need to give the path to the service. Usually it is a web service. I already have the web service, which is called Ajax service SMX. And then we have minimum prefix length. How much characters do I have to type so before the request will be actually be sent? Now I have set it to one, but uh, it really depends on your application. If you have more records or if you prefer, you can set it to like three or four. Okay and things like that. So now I have to create this method which is get customers. So let's go over here and I'll go to my service. Uh, I have to uncomment this particular line which is already uh, you know commented right I mean uncommented right now. So the script service attribute when it's placed on the web service or when it's placed on the class it will allow your web service methods to be called from the client side. That's why it is uncommented. Let's create the method string array get customers it will always return a string array and pay special attention to the parameters so it has to be two parameters and it has to be named prefix text and count okay so we'll decorate it web method don't forget to do that or else it pretty much it, it won't work I have a database so I'm just going to use that okay and uh, I have a database which has uh, like a customers table, customers at first name and last name and also image but in this case we're just going to return a first name and last name okay so how can I do that like I'll just say okay return and uh, from C and DB DB dot customers where C dot first name because we're kind of like checking the first name and I have to perform this two lower operation okay if it is uh, equals to the or I can actually say if it actually starts with so if it starts with prefix text and to lower uh, then I will say select and I will select something so now what I'm selecting over here is basically it should return me uh, let's say this okay c dot first name 
dot to array. Oops. So I'm just going to say over here and c dot last name. Okay, not on the new one over here. But so what I'm actually uh, doing is I have to let's say if I close this one up. Oops, did something wrong somewhere. So let's write it again actually. Okay, and then I'll create this thing. So from c n d b dot customers where c dot first name dot uh, star to lower intelligence is actually kind of working very slow on my part for some reason prefix text dot to lower say okay and I can say select C now of course if you hover over it it's going to say that it cannot really return this particular thing so I can say C dot first name okay and then again it's not really in in that particular case so I'm just going to go over here and this to array okay but this is only first name I, I want to return kind of like first name and last name so I can say C dot last okay so in this case it's going to return me a first name and last name now I can go back and it's already been coded took some time to code because of the dying intelligence <laughs> so I'm running this page into the browser always a good idea to open the firebug so let's see if I say there we go so it's actually pulling out the information from the database okay even if you type small then it's going to pull out the information and you can of course select and do do your the stuff that you need okay so this was a very simple article I mean simple video actually showing you how to do this particular thing most of the time if you have gone to Facebook uh, they have a much enhanced version of this and they actually show you the small picture of the person like Scott Hanselman Scott Guthrie or Mahmoud Adam or anyone that they have in the who have set up the picture is going to be appearing over here and I'm going to show you in the next video how to do that I hope you like this video and if you do want to sponsor videos uh, uh, hosted on high on coding then please you can contact me at awesome at gmail.com hope you enjoy thank you very much